It's near impossible for any music scheduling software to schedule every slot and every hour of every day without encountering some formatting rule violations. You want songs by the same artist separated. You may not want to have two slow songs scheduled back to back. You don't want a song to be scheduled near the same time, over and over. Now, there are two ways to schedule with Music One, manual and automatic. In automatic mode, it will run the whole day without stopping. When it comes to a slot where all its choices at that moment would violate one of your formatting rules, it will fill the slot with a song that violates one of the formatting rules because it has to, and it will flag it with red font. The scheduling run will be finished in 15 to 30 seconds, and you would then scroll through the day, find the rule violations, and decide if you wanted to make some edits to correct things. That's how every other music scheduler in the world does it. You can get Music One to do it that way too, but M1 is unique in that it was designed for manual scheduling and editing. Now that means you do the fixing as Music One schedules, during the scheduling run. It's a lot more efficient to do it this way, and you get much more reliable and consistent song rotations too. In the manual mode, when Music One encounters a slot where it can't schedule a song without violating one of your formatting rules, it stops to show you the problem and let you make an editing decision. Here, it stops in the 5 a.m. hour. It can't schedule the Hot LP Cut slot because it has only two songs to choose from and both of them have artist separation problems. There's another song by Dirk Bentley already scheduled at 527. There it is. And there's a Brooks and Dunn song scheduled next hour at 606. And here it is. There are several things you can do to rectify the situation. The best thing to do is to jump ahead and drop these two songs into slots in an upcoming hour. Let's click to the 7 a.m. hour. And then click on a hot LP cut slot. Either song will fit into this slot without violating formatting rule. So let's drop the Bentley song in here. And then I click to the next hot LP cut slot and I'll drop Brooks and Dunn's song into that one. But before I do, notice that this is the only song choice remaining. Every other song in the category has already been scheduled in the current pass through the Hot LP Cuts category. So as soon as I schedule this, Music One will see that everything's been scheduled in this category, in this run through the list, and it will then go back to the top of the list, back to the top of the card stack, and more songs will become available for scheduling. When I click the golden arrow again, Music One will jump back to the empty slot, the Hot LP Cut slot at 550, and it will drop one of the songs into that slot. And it'll continue on scheduling and looking for the next problem to show me. Now that happens at 11 p.m. Again, it's an artist separation problem. But in your own scheduling sessions, you'll see other things. Maybe some tempo problems, a song that's been scheduled in the same day part before, uh, maybe a sound code or a music flow violation. Whatever the violation, you'll see it in this column, and you'll make a choice about what to do. A couple of clicks, and it's done. Here, I'm going to tell Music One to just flip the song, to pass it, and continue on. This is Music One's unique, innovative, interactive scheduling and editing system. It's the only music scheduler designed to work this way. You do the fixing and the adjusting during the scheduling run. That's the reason, that's why Music One delivers the most consistent and reliable song rotations. Use Music One and your station just sounds better.